Still audio shows James Boyd threatening police officers from the foothills of the Sandia Mountains in 2014. Police say Boyd was armed with two knives that he refused to put down. Drop the knives, man, and come down here. Attorneys say a canine officer moved in, and that's when former APD officers Keith Sandy and Dominique Perez opened fire, killing Boyd. The fellow officers who were there to provide cover have an obligation to use deadly force to protect that officer who made a tactical mistake. Is that right? Excuse me, Your Honor, ultimate issue. Now the two are charged with murder. The big question for Chief Gordon Eden today, were these police officers acting within the Albuquerque Police Department's use of force policy? If an officer orders a suspect armed with a knife to drop the knife, is that an adequate warning under APD's use of force policy? Yes. The defense played dispatch tapes that notified the officers that Boyd had a history of assaulting officers, but the state says his past shouldn't play a factor in what happened that day. Just the fact alone, an officer sees me, knows I have a history of violent offenses, that's not a, enough for them to shoot me. That factor alone would not be justifiable use of force. Now, Chief Eden was one of two witnesses today. The second was an expert witness on officer-involved shootings. He will continue his testimony tomorrow, although today the defense made it clear that this witness is no expert in their eyes. Reporting live in downtown Albuquerque tonight, Sandra Damides, KWT Action 7 News.